Hi, this is Yuan from uh, Minerva. So first of all, uh, Happy New Year to, uh, to everyone. Uh, and for this new year, as RS Innovator version 10, as you can see here, has just been released. I just wanted to, uh, to show a quick overview. Um, you can already see that from the login screen, there's been uh, a, a new design for all RS Innovator, uh, in addition to all the things that have been added, like now you can use uh, Firefox. I haven't configured Firefox yet to uh, to use RS Innovator. I haven't looked at the, the install, maybe it's quick, but didn't take the time so far. Uh, what I did, I installed RS Innovator. It took uh, same time as it, it was taking before, so a very uh, few time, like a few minutes, five to ten minutes, it took to, for me to uh, to install it. Here, uh, login password is the same as it used to be admin and innovator. Uh, you can see on the login once you're logged in that the design has completely changed, um, and it feel it feels really uh, new compared to uh, to the design that has been in place for uh, quite a few years. Um, first thing we notice is a lot of new icons uh, for the ones who have never been on RS Innovator. Maybe it doesn't affect them. For me, it's not it's not changing a lot. Uh, it's just, I mean, it doesn't change so much. Here on the talk, uh, so the table of content or, or tree of content, there's one new thing. Um, well, first. Here also you get new these new uh, icons that are uh, pretty nice to, uh, to 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 look at, and then you get multiple levels, which wasn't the case before. There was just folders, and then inside folders you have item types. Um, now you can have sub levels. I haven't looked at how you can uh, configure this already, but uh, I guess we can take a look at it if we go into item types. If I look at parts, for example, oops, uh, let's take a look at how we can change that. It's almost uh, the first time I used this new version. Uh, let's go into talk access, and my guess is that it might be like a classification. Let's check that if I lock it. First thing that I see is that, for example, on the right click, you've got a scroller if you don't have enough space to show the, the whole uh, thing. And here I get these choices. So I'm not sure how this how this works there. Um, I haven't checked the documentation yet, but that's a, a nice feature to organize your items in there. In there. Uh, the other thing that we can notice is the redesign of all the grids. So the main things that have changed for this version 10 is the use of uh, the Dojo, uh, the Dojo JavaScript library for all the interface uh, client side item, um, which is replacing a lot of ActiveX uh, which were in place and which were um, made us use Internet Explorer so far. And we can see that the design is pretty pretty nice. It's uh, cool to have uh, alternate uh, colors for the rows. Uh, you can see here that you can minimize this or the bo both of them. That's a cool feature. Uh, apart from that, one thing that will be nice for the ones who are who already installed the the previous version. And had an issue at the beginning with dashboards because you needed to install something. Now it comes um, with the with the uh, the install. So directly, if you've got the dashboards available, uh, which is uh, the the dashboard has not been redesigned, but at least you can it, it works when you install it. Apart from that, uh, most of the things were already in place. Uh, yes, another thing is the model pop-ups, uh, for example, when you I found this, when you, for example, you need to uh, select an assigned creator, you see that the rest of the form is disabled and and we've got this form, a uh, mobile window to uh, 
to select the, the right person. Uh, it is not in place for everything, like for example, here if I set a classification, uh, not sure what is the logic here, but that doesn't change. Uh, what changes here is that you get a filter potentially. So that's pretty cool. So and apart from that, um, well, not much. The aim was for RS not to change everything. The aim was just to uh, move as one step forward by replacing all the ActiveX and using um, a JavaScript library, which is widely used, like Dojo. Uh, let's take a look at projects. I haven't created any so far. If I create one project, you can see that the loop and fill also for the date uh, dialog has changed. Let's try to create one project. I think the tabs are loading quite faster than uh, than it used to be. Uh, the ActiveX was quite uh, heavy for the system. Uh, here if we add, so there's a lot of new icons and we need some time to figure out what has changed or not. This is a phase. Let's put an activity. Okay. All right, so that's quite about it. Um, let's just do a, a final check. Oops, about just asking whether that's something that I uh, tell to a lot of people who are asking me for simple tasks in RS. Um, when, for example, I'm in projects, there used to be a, a contextual help. So just ask an evader, and it's still vetted. Uh, it's still the old help, but uh, you still have the contextual. So as all the features, all the functional path has not changed a lot, uh, you should still be able to find uh, the different information about how to use RS whenever you are in the system. So that's it for this presentation. Most of the presentation in the future might be made on this um, database, or on this uh, RS version 10. Uh, so you'll see more in the future, but I was just for the new year, I wanted to show you the, the latest release of RS Innovator.